Hey guys, welcome back to another mukbang. Guys, today I'm having pizza. It's a homemade pizza. I made it. It has sausage, broccoli, cheese, and uh, <laughs> why can't I think of the name of the sauce? Alfredo sauce. I laid Alfredo sauce on it instead of pizza sauce. And then I topped it with Jimmy Dean sausage. And then I put broccoli on it. And then I put cheese. And then I baked it. And I'm using the Pillsbury Thin Crust. And I'm hot. I'm sweating. Whew. So again. And I do have a recipe for how I make it. Uh, I probably won't add it in the description. I'll probably have it as the video, like when my video go off and it'll show a video in the corner. Um, I'll put it there as the ending video. On my end screen, rather. I'll put it on the end screen. So without further ado, I'm going to say my grace. Amen. Oh, I tell you, I've been doing stuff today, though. Um, just got finished washing clothes. My last load is drying, and the oven is on. So between the dryer and the oven, it's warm out here. I had to turn my fan off because it makes too much noise. But I guess I'll cool off in a sec. Okay, and... Um, I'm going to be drinking sparkling ice, classic lemonade. Mm, definitely didn't mean to do that. It's water in here. Ice is melting. And I'm using a silicone straw today. So I think it's time to get this party started. Are they dropping stuff? <laughs> They're so good. Oh, wait, no. Hmm. I have a little short story time. It is about a bug. I don't know what kind of bug it was. It's about two bugs. Anyway, well, when I used to have my house, I used to sit on the front a lot. Every day, rather. Around a certain time of the day. When I was working, but once I retired, I came out on retirement disability. I would make sit out there a little earlier. So... The bees and the hornets sort of like took over my front. And they, um, I think it was the hornets that planted the nest underneath of um, 
They planted the niece, uh, made a niece, uh, I'm talking the niece, made a nest behind the shutters, my shutters. So when you sit on the front sometimes, it's just a bunch of them flying around. And then you like see certain ones sitting right by the shutters and they like they're watching everything. They, you walk past, they turn this way, they turn that way. They don't bother you, but they make sure you don't bother them either. So that was that. Then it was a little teeny, teeny hole in the brick. The flies made a nest there. I'm like, what is going on? Is this bug territory? Bug city? Well, this is a brand new house. They just built the house. I was the first person that lived in the house. Um, the flies had inside the brick wall. The hornets had behind the shutters. So, I'm sitting out there one day, and this is when I used to smoke cigarettes and drink beer. So, I'm smoking a cigarette, drinking my beer, about to get on the phone and talk, because that's what I do, puff, drink, and talk. So, I'm, like, looking, and I see something out the corner of my eye. And now I'm trying to make trying to make sense of what, what am I saying? Because I didn't know. I knew it was some kind of bug. So I just turned my head around slowly. It was this big old black bug just sitting in mid-air. Like just close to my damn face. Excuse me. It's close to my face. I turn I fully clawed my mouth. <clears throat> I kind of fell back. I was already sitting down, but I was right next to the rail, sitting by the rail. I went just like this, my head hit the rail. It didn't hit it hard, but it hit it. And no sooner I turned and looked at it, it scared me so bad the bug just zip flew away and flew right around the corner of my house. It just flew right around the corner of my house. So I'm like, what in the world? What kind of bug was that? It ain't trying to do nothing to me or nothing. It was just like it was just sitting there looking at me until I turned and looked at it. It was like right there by my face. And later, later during the um, year, like the summer, I noticed that those same bugs had a nest out in my backyard up in my fence. Well, I had a wooden fence. A real tall privacy fence. And um, I got it built. They made a nest in it. And I used to sit in my kitchen window and look out. And sure enough, that's how they used to do. They'll fly, they'll zoom and just stop right in midair and just sit there. You know, zoom and stop and sit there right in midair. Never, I've never seen that kind of bug before in my life. Never seen. I've seen them the whole time I was living there, but since I moved, I've never seen a bug like that again. But that's not the main bug I'm talking about. This bug I really want to talk about. It kind of looks like a bee, and its body is like that. It's like that long, and it's like like that thick. It's like that thick, right? Yeah, like that thick, and. I don't know where this bug came from. It's like every year I used to see a different type of bug that I've never seen before. I used to see so many crossbreed of bugs. Used to have me running in the house all the time. Another bug I seen, it was that bug was just so ugly. I was just, just <laughs> disgusted. I didn't even want to see because the bug was ugly as I don't know what. But this particular bug, like I said, it looked like a bee, but it was just real thick and real long. Like, this bug was aggressive. The bug used to fly. I don't know where it came from. I don't know where it was nesting. But every time I would go outside, whatever time of day, evening it is, not at night because they don't come up late at night. But as long as it's daylight and it's warm because I've never seen it in the winter either. But anyway, this bug started coming from out of nowhere. But it started chasing me. 
the bugs start trying to attack me. And I'm like, what in the world? So I always ran from it. Every time I saw it, I would run the house anyway because I don't do bugs. So the good thing I did, because when I ran in the house, it started hitting on my door. It started hitting on my um, screen door, my um, security door. And I'm like, this bug was like hitting the door. And I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this, I cannot believe this bug is, is really trying to get me. It's really trying to hit the door. So that was that day. I didn't even go back outside that day. Because once that bug started hitting on my door, it was hitting against the door real hard. I thought it was going to kill itself at hard it was hitting on my door. I didn't go back out. And later that evening, we all went out and sat on the front, but it was dark then. Did this, the next day, went out there again. Now I'm actually looking for this bug. I'm looking for it now. You don't see the bug nowhere. And I'm still on alert, though. I'm a little comfortable. I'm getting a little comfortable after a while, but I'm still on alert. Because like I said, there's too many bugs flying around, period. I don't know where could that bug come. And, and, and I could hear the sound because it may, you know, bugs make noises we just can't hear a lot of times because you can't hear them until they get close to you. Like a bee, you can't hear the buzz unless it's like right at your ear. But this one, it was big and it had a sound. I couldn't hear the sound from far away, no. But when it got closer, like closer, when it been that corner, I hear that sound. Watch how scared I was of it. Jump up and run in the house. Something is hitting on my door. I mean, it's like it's mad because I ran in the house. It is hitting my door like I don't know what. So, <laughs> at this time, my husband was living. And I was calling his name and saying, it's this bug. He came to see that bug hitting that door. I'm like, what the F? I'm like, what, what kind of bug is that? I said, I don't know what kind of bug that is. I thought this is the second day chasing me in the house and it's banging against the screen door. I said, I don't know where this bug comes from. He said, that's a big bug, but of course he wasn't scared. I was scared. <laughs> I was scared. Um, I said, go get the bug spray, go get the bug spray, I went to get the bug spray. Okay, I didn't know bug spray, but it was already gone. It was already gone. And didn't see the bug for like the next two days or so. And here it come again. But it's like the only bug, the only, only time that bug comes is when I'm out there by myself. It was crazy. I'm like, this is too crazy. How the bug when I'm out here by myself? I kid you not. That bug knew I was out there by myself. I said, I'm going to get her. And then I'm really going to get her. She told on me. Yep. I'm going to say this piece of power. Um, just trust me, I can eat the whole thing. But I'm going to be nice. Um... The last part is, even though we had the hornets, we had the hornets under the shutters, we had the stag of flies in the, in the brick, and we had the bees nest like over top of the door. We got, we kept taking them down. Every time they stopped building it, knock it down. So they stopped trying to build it after a while because we kept knocking it down. And... They just kept flying around and flying around. So now we got hornets, we got bees, we got flies. And the bees started getting out of control. They started just flying around too much. You know, they I'd be out there and have something to drink or have something to eat or something. They like sweet stuff or whatever. They start flying at us and we have to fan them away. Then as soon as you start fanning them away, they're in attack mode. Then they were just singing now. So we had to find out. 
and where those bees was coming from. So he finally found out where they was coming from. They had made a nest in the ground. It was two trees when you come up to my um, up my porch. Two trees. I don't know who designed this and put these trees right here. But you got to walk past two bushes to come to up into my porch. And you hear bees buzzing and everything. So we got the trees. We put, you know pay somebody to dig them two trees about the ground. Because they was right there at the front porch when you step up to come up the steps to go in the house. And in the midst of that, I guess the person who did it did not feel in the whole part of the hole that the tree came out of. Because them things have built a big, huge nest down in the ground. So he had nothing better to do but go mess with them things during the day. I'm like, don't mess with those Things during the day, they're going to steam the mess out to you. You better get them at night when they're not, they not going to come out. Or they're not going to come after you. Nope, I'm going to be hard-headed. When it got gasoline, I said, if you pour no gasoline down hole, don't you pour no gasoline down that ground. This is our house right here. Would you try to burn the whole house down? Damn. He said, I'm not going to set it on fire. I said, you don't have to. I said, oh, this heat. It's hot. And the heat, the heat beams right on the, on the front, on the ground. Mm -mm, don't put a glass in down there. But he probably did anyway. Hard headed. But all I know is I was in the house. I was in the kitchen cooking. Heard all this hollering and screaming. I already knew what it was. He was being hard headed. I already knew the bees and stuff that started attacking. I knew it. I just walked to the door. And I tell you, it was about 20 or more bees on him or after him. He running. They were flying right with me. Some of them was on him. He was hard headed. That's not. I'm going to open the door. Open the door. I said, I'm not opening the door. You're not bringing them things in. I said, I told you, don't mess with them things. So. I got the, um, and I got a, the towel and stuff that was right there in the chair and start switching. Of course, they start coming out for me. Got the water hose. I got so I <clears throat> got them in the house and stuff. <laughs> he had so many, he had these things everywhere. Let me show his about up. I told you not to mess with them bag on bees during the day. It's broad daylight. And they're still flying. They were still flying, man. And it was like, when they see you coming, they're already trying to go into attack mode. Because they see you coming. So they, they got the ones that watch the nest. They stay at the nest. They got them to fly around the nest and watch it or whatever. But <laughs> that was so funny. It wasn't funny at the time. My day was all over his back. That was all over now. I couldn't do nothing but laugh. After the fact, though. After the fact, I was... When we tried to run the house, I wasn't laughing and saying, no, don't come in here. I was scared saying, no, don't come in here, because I don't want all these bees in here. Then we have to try to kill all these bees. I was definitely scared for him. Good thing he wasn't allergic to him. He would been in trouble. Big trouble. That's why I must have stopped. I don't even know if I heard it. <clears throat> I'm still hot. Yep, yeah, I was sick. It was a good old day. That was when my um, husband, Jesse, was still living. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. He was howling like I was, uh, calling him. Calling my name, Ryan, Ryan. What you want me to do? I told you not to mess with it. 
Leave them bigger than long. Let can't wait till it gets dark. He did the same thing with the hornets. But he did wait till it get dark with them. <laughs> he ain't trying to mess with them during the day. Alright, so you know the saying, a hard head make a so awesome. You know what? If you ain't want to hear that calamine lotion and all kinds of stuff. I'm checking to see if stingers still in if he got stingers in. There was a couple of stingers in I had to get out. It wasn't many though. Put them up with tweezers. I definitely got some stings in. Some of them stung, but the stinger didn't go in. Well, I know he was probably on fire. One beast thing hurt. I imagine more, multiple stains from being hard headed. That's how most men is when you try to tell them stuff. They don't want to listen because I think you don't know nothing. Or they don't want to listen to the woman. Mine will say most men, I'm say some. I'm going to put that on all, on all y'all. Mm. I would enjoy my pizza. Mm, 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 Reading. Hmm. Yeah, that's a cow. Because he just ate. But he don't like, he really like pizza, but he's seen this in one time. First of all, of course, he didn't like, I mean, he liked it, but he didn't want it. Mm. And I always catch you on the day when you don't want to share. Okay, guys. Um, I want to say uh, welcome to my new subscribers, and thank you to my vets for your continued support. Um, I ask that you like, subscribe, comment, share, click the bell, and click all. And I'll notify you every time I upload a video. So this is the V, which is me. And I'm signing out. I'll see you guys again on the next one. And thanks again for watching.